Sir, 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 I I'm trying to get opinions on Scopely's mining events. What's your real thoughts? Uh, uh, okay. Guess that was authentic. Back to you in the studio. Hi there. This is Nicole DeBoer, also known as Lieutenant Esri Dax from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And welcome to Star Trek Fleet Command. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Star Trek Fleet Command players only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Yeah! They want the answer to Prime Officers versus John Borg here on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. On a Tuesday, following Mining Monday, which everybody loves. Thank you to the intro. Best intro of all time. Actually, probably not. But hopefully you've been entertained by this exuberant amount of energy way early on a Tuesday morning. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If I haven't made you laugh, don't worry. If I don't do it within 16 more videos, you get a free t-shirt from somebody not named Rev Deuce. That is correct. You will get a free t-shirt from somebody else. Guaranteed. It's in the contract you didn't sign. Let's talk about Prime Officers versus Prime Borg. This has been something that a lot of you have been asking. What should I do? Because, first, well, first, first off, first off, we have the whole skerfuffle of well, are we going to actually get Prime Officers or are we going to get bored? Because remember, we had the whole thing here. We made the whole intro. It was amazing. But now you get to choose. You can keep the four-star epic and get the Prime Borg, or you can change it in for four rare epic gas or 100 four-star epic gas that's rare quality words jumbled. And get prime officers. So you have two choices of a free prime either way. Now there's multiple ways to look at it. And I'll just go ahead and tell you right now. Prime officers is the correct choice. Wait. That should have probably gone later in the video. Still, watch it. I'll give reasons. But there's really no wrong answer here. Now I have both. Now to give proof that I have both. So that you're not saying I'm talking out of my rear. And the reason I have both is because I've spent like three hundred something dollars on this game this month already. Oh my god, I gotta see I'm addicted. It's too much. It's too much. But I really have though, and it's kind of just by anyway. So I've got both. If you go into your galaxy tree where they've got some of these new ones, you see I've got Prime Borg Rewards already purchased, and then you know I've had Prime Officers for quite some time, and having multiple accounts and, and Remember that my recommendations are based on different experiences, trying to focus on the average player. If you're like a level 34 out there or you're a whale, well, obviously getting the epic gas makes more sense than getting the rare gas. Just because from in the game, epic better than rare. It's more valuable. However, if we're talking about it just from a purely purchasable standpoint, one of them is a $100 research and one of them is a $50 uh, research in terms of if you hop in here, you got all these wonderful packs. Look at all these packs. So many packs. Packs on packs on packs on packs. But anyway, you keep scrolling and you'll find all these different ones that you could buy that are prime researches. All of these are they worth $100. Here's your prime officers, $100. Is that worth it? Well, it's really up to you if you want to purchase it or not. But if you want to get it for free, I'm telling you to get prime officers with this upcoming battle pass culmination the reason being is prime officers is an immediate improvement to your game it makes everybody better instantaneously there's nothing else that you have to do literally do the research and bam you're now better at the game it and it works in such a simple way that you can easily track because remember there's not a ton of researchers out there that boost officer stats now while there are some there's actually what about three of them now there's still none that come close to the 100% gain that is Prime Officers. So you look at my maxed out Cadet Kirk here, currently not on a ship, and you'll see the stats on the right. And you will see these take a massive jump immediately with Prime Officers. Why is this important? You might ask. Well, so glad that you took the time to ask, because that's what I'm here for. And what is important is when you go to this Assign Officer screen and right over here to the right, I'm actually missing an officer. How redonkulous. Sorry. Maintaining five ships, by the way, when you get to that fifth dock, that's a pain. 
But anyway, let's just look at what I have here. The main key is Prime Officers is going to make it much easier for you on the right side of your screen to get to those maximum percentages. Remember, we talked about wanting to get to 300% attack and 300% health, and in this case, I'm running defense because I'm running Zao, so, and I would probably want to put Spock on there and get to 300, but more importantly, get to 12,000 while still having my 270 bonus everywhere. So, that is the immediate benefit of Prime Officers. It's going to give you an immediate boost to your ship strength. You'll actually notice that depending on the officers that you have, and of course, the higher level and higher tier you get those officers, the better the stat increases, that you're going to start seeing percentages that you were simply unable to get before. This will really help those players also. Say you're more of a free-to-play or a low dolphin player, so you don't have a tier 9 ship, which means you don't have all these slots unlocked. So let's switch it to a more relatable ship let's say that let's pop in my tier 5 kumari and go to the officer sign so you see i've only got three officers there yet i'm still reaching 3000 i'm sorry 300 300 300 even without all my officer slots simply by my officers now obviously you need less to get to 300 percent with a kumari but you still need officers and this allows you to boost those levels even more than you normally would discard those changes so what you're seeing immediately from prime officers is that immediate impact. Now, long-term, everybody's talking, is it more beneficial long-term to get prime Borg? Now, remember that prime Borg is based on the tier of your Vidar. That doesn't make it bad, but it is based on where you're at. So you see right here, I've got a tier seven, almost tier eight Vidar, and it's going to improve the refinery output of all of these based on the tier. Remember, as you tier it up, the refinery is better. So if I wanted to do it right now, if I wanted to do independent credits, I would get 120 for 3,300. That's a definitely better refinery output than what you're typically used to seeing. But is that alone reason enough to go after that above prime officers? The argument made is that once you reach level 34, and I've talked about this all the time, you can scrap a D4 or a Mayflower and get that prime for free, that being prime officers. However, unless you're in a position to do that, also, unless you're in a position to go ahead and max out that Mayflower or that D3 as a spare ship, because remember, that strategy that I speak of is fantastic, and it works really well, but it is dependent on you actually having the ability to do it. See, I've got a Tier 8 Mayflower sitting right here, and, you know, maybe you don't have 180 rares just for each weapon to upgrade and you don't have 130 for the shield to take it to tier nine and you know that's the process that you're going to have to go through which is fine the the idea of prime officers though for the average player just the everyday player whether you're on server 50 or server 20 and still don't have it the biggest thing is it gives you an immediate upgrade to your player ability just simple as that PvE, PvP, base rating, territory, everything just got better for you from one simple improvement. Where the Borg Reward, it doesn't do that. Now, it does give you access or the opportunity to grind for better access to officer upgrades and ships. And that's 100% factual. Definitely awesome and true. But it doesn't make you better at the game. It simply makes grinding easier. And for all we know, you get another opportunity in the future to make that grind easier. Who knows? Remember, Prime Officers was never intended to be given away to begin with, which is actually what makes this so valuable, because they knew that Prime Officers is way more valuable than Prime Borg, which is why there was a whole kerfluffle about giving it away. And now, of course, they had to because they advertised it, so now you've got a nice little thing in your event store that in a few days you'll be able to exchange and get your Prime Officers. Cha-ching. But if you're not, I mean, Scopely didn't want that. Come on, like, they, didn't, they weren't like, yeah, let's give them prime officers. Scopely is actually freaking out right now. So prime officers just being a better overall research for what it does in the game. Still, prime Borg, very valuable. And I understand anybody who makes that decision. But if you're an average player out there questioning where should you go and what's going to make your gameplay better as soon as you do it, the answer is prime officers. And it's not even close. But that doesn't mean going Prime Borg is bad. Depends on your individual situation, if you've already got Prime Officers, or if you're close to or can afford to go to level 34 and scrap that you know, D3 or Mayflower to get Prime Officers and the other Primes for free, then do it. Because getting Epic Gas is very difficult. Like, you can't do that in the refinery, I think, until level 43 and above. So, that's a, I mean, it's tough to pass up. But 
Immediate impact in the game, I feel, is more important for the average player. So that's what I'm going to recommend. But if you agree or disagree, you know what you got to do. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, I apologize for the extreme amount of gratuitous energy in this video. Actually, I don't. I love you, and I'm here, and I'm excited, and I'm happy to be with you, and I'm happy to stream with you and make these videos. Live long and prosper. Stay safe out there, Space Cowboys. We'll catch you on the next one, which will be a lot of next ones coming up because there's some cool stuff coming. But you did. Heard it from DJ. Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah! Woo!